Okay, so let's throw it to our sideline reporter. Uh-oh, guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Oh, no. Game day? Yeah! What are you doing there? I'm your new sideline reporter, Terry Bradshaw, the bold bomber! woo -hoo! Oh, my God, he's worse than Jimmy. Oh. Hey, boys. It's a pleasure to be able to talk to you before Frontneck Week. I've uh, been able to do it before. It was a huge honor, and uh, it's a big honor again. There's a lot of people that the buzz is the buzz is around. Everyone knows that you guys it's front neck week. The guys I played with, um, anyone that's ever worn a Colgan uniform is going to be anticipating that score to see what the score is. So you're going to hear not only from me, thank you for letting me tell you good luck, but you're going to hear from a number of other Panthers as well. So sit back and relax, and, and good luck on Friday night. We're excited to see the outcome. Yes. Yeah. Ready? Ready? One, two, three. Go Panthers! I want to wish you all good luck in your game against the Raiders. I know you can beat them. We'll be watching online and rooting on. Go Panthers! Hey, what's up, Colgan Panthers? AJ Cedeno here, St. Mary's Colgan class of 2003. Just wanted to wish you guys all the luck in the world this week against those Raiders from Frontenac. Uh, beating those guys 20 to zero at Hutchfield my senior year was one of the greatest memories I still have of playing Colgan ball. So go out there, do your best. I know you guys will. And uh, like we always said at ND, play like a champion. Good luck, guys. Hey everyone, I'm Allison McCormick, a graduate of St. Mary's Colgan in 2010. Uh, currently a missionary, serving down here at the University of Louisiana. Go Cajuns! Just wanted to wish you all some good luck as you take on the Frontenac Raiders. No, I'm thinking of you down at the Bayou, and hope you do great. Charlie Sloan. <laughs> Go Panthers! Go Panthers! We are Colgan. Good luck, Panthers. Beat Frontenac. I'm Austin Kratz, graduating class of 2014, currently at Conception Seminary College. It's a big game, a lot of emotions, exciting week. Cherish it all. Good luck. Go out there and play hard and give it all to God. Okay, and to the seniors, believe it or not, there are memories that will stay forever in your heart. Five, 10, 50 years down the road, you will remember that Colgan, the night you played Frontenac, that Frontenac Colgan game. So let's make it a memory where we go, God, wasn't that a great game? Wasn't that a great hit, Nate? Way to pancake somebody, Caleb, and say, wasn't it fun to beat the snot out of those Raiders? To uh, wish the uh, Panthers good luck coming at uh, Frontenac this Friday. And I'm sure it's going to be a big game for uh, Chuck is going to be coaching against his son Mark. And uh, it's always been a good ball game and you can never tell uh, the records of the team. You can throw that out because you have to play the game to decide the winner. So good luck, Chuck. Hey Panthers. I want to start out by saying what a privilege it is for me to be able to speak to you tonight. It's a special week, and being able to be a small part of that is an honor. As I was trying to think of what I wanted to say, I realized that it's a privilege for all of us to be a part of this. It's a privilege for us fans. It's a privilege for the parents, for the students, for the dance squad, the cheer squad, the coaches, and most especially you players. It's a privilege because it's an opportunity for all of us to come together and be a part of something to represent something that's bigger than us. That brings about feelings and emotions that you just don't get in everyday events. There's a country song by Kenny Chesney called The Boys of Fall. And in the video for that song, Sean Payton, who's the head coach of the New Orleans Saints, goes back to visit his old high school. And he's standing in the locker room talking to the team before a game. He tells him about how fast time has gone since he, since he sat in that exact same locker room. He says, guys, so many people live through you vicariously. He said, I would give anything to jump in one of those uniforms with you right now. Because he said that feeling you have, that feeling goes away and it doesn't come back every Friday night. It'll come back in the day you get married and it'll come back on the day your kids are born. So you get it, you just don't get it every Friday night. And he tells them, guys, you'll miss that more than anything in the world. Gentlemen, I can honestly tell you, truer words have never been spoken. 
So this Friday night, it's about you guys. It's about the guys in that locker room that care about one another because you realize there's only so many, only so many of these nights left. So play hard, play smart, play with emotion, play with passion, but most importantly, play for one another. Don't allow yourself to take a play off because you believe down deep in your heart that guy next to you isn't going to. They're going to be a tough team. They're going to be physical. But tough isn't about being able to deliver a blow. It's how you respond once you receive one. I don't know about you, but I'd like to go over there Friday night and find out a little bit more about them. My favorite part of that song is a refrain that says, I've got your number. I've got your back when your back's against the wall. You mess with one man, you got us all. Good luck. Enjoy that feeling. And thanks for allowing all of us to be a part of it. Go Blue. Good morning from Our Lady of Lords Tuesday Rosary Group. We are your elderly cheerleading group and have been and established way back in the 1970s. And we have prayed for you every Tuesday for the St. Mary's and Coben students, their faculty, and whether they are coaches or assistant coaches or principals or whatever, whether you play tiddlywinks or pool or are in debate or track or basketball or baseball or football, we have always prayed for your safety and for wins, definitely. So we are wishing you the best for this coming Friday. And uh, from us here, we say, Go Panthers! Beat the Raiders! <laughs> hey, Colgan Football, it's Gabe Greer, class of 2008, seminarian for the Diocese of Wichita. Myself and a couple other seminarians are coming down for the big game this week. We hope to see you get the victory. Good luck. Hey guys, my name is Katie Sweezy, and I want to wish you good luck against Frontenac this week by sharing with you a few things that remind me of Colgan football. I went to school in the late 90s and graduated in 2000, and although we didn't have cell phones back then, we did have warm-up music, and this is one of our songs. I'm pretty sure the parents and the teachers loved our taste in music. Pretty sure. The Metal Raiders statue you just saw reminds me of Colgan football rivalry. What now sits in the Frontenac Junior High School once sat on the roof of Colgan High School game day morning 1998. Although we still don't know who put it up there, I'm guessing one of your parents, aunts, or uncles knows who did. The favorite lunchtime spot for football players on game day, when I drive by Bob's Grill, I'm reminded of Colgan football. No matter what local event brings me to Hutchison Field, I'm reminded of Colgan football. How many of you knew the 50-yard line lines up perfectly with Our Lady of Lords Church steeple? Hey Panthers, Chris Smith here from Princeton University. I just wanted to wish you guys luck as you get ready to beat the Raiders. Go Colgan! Hello fellow Panthers, I'm Reagan Kays, a 2010 graduate of St. Mary's Colgan and now a senior at Kansas State University. And my name is Garrett Kays, a 2012 graduate of St. Mary's Colgan and now a junior here at K-State. And today we want to share a couple things with you before you go into the big game tonight. Up here in Manhattan, we like to brag about you guys all the time to our friends who maybe didn't come from as good a school as we did. So keep up the good work and make sure we can continue to brag about you and the good work you all do there at St. Mary's Colgan. So best of luck tonight, guys, if you represent yourselves, your school, and your family to the best of your ability and you work as hard as you can, you're going to end up doing as well as you possibly could as well. Beat the Knackers. Welcome Panthers, this is Caleb Frabi giving a shout out from the east end of Pittsburgh, graduated class of 2004. Um, contrary to what Coach Smith may believe or, or Coach Cheon, what my fondest memory of, of high school would be, and not only my football season, uh, it wasn't an algebra problem and it wasn't a drafting class. It was beating Frontenac 28-14 on their home field. Um, once you step in between that, those lines, the only thing I can say is there's no friends. Uh, you can be friends after the game. But take it all business, uh, seniors, you only get one chance to play them on Friday night and you when you're a senior, so make it the best. Good luck. I'm CJ Russell, graduated class of 2013, currently attending United States Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland. Just want to wish you guys the best of luck this week. Beat the Raiders. Let's check back in with our new sideline reporter. 
Oh, hey, Terry Bear. So, have you talked to any players? Nope, but I talked to the nachos guy and the cotton candy guy. But what can you tell us about today's matchup? Oh, I can tell you one thing. Nachos and cotton candy do not match up at all. Oh, oh I got to lie down. Hi, guys. I'm Joseph Lomsek. And one day I'm going to go into this football jersey and be a Corgan football player like you. Until then, us little guys are looking up at you guys. So, this week against the Raiders, you need to represent. Go Corgan! Guys, my name is Nick Delasega. I graduated from St. Mary's Colgan in 2003, and I'm standing here at Hutch Field. Some of my best memories are right here. I just want to say good luck this weekend against Frontenac. Um, when I think of my games playing against Frontenac, some of the best memories I have are with my brothers, with my team, and there's nothing stronger than when a team comes together and really puts everything and everything they have all together for each other. Um, man that taught me a lot about that was Coach Chuck Smith, my coach, our coach, and here he is. Do you want to see the new end zone dance? Check it out. You know what it's called? What? New end zone dance. <laughs>